This is a very common style of LED string light these days, and it's really clever. Um, it uses two varnished copper wires. They're covered in some sort of lacquer, just like the normal winding wire you'd find for solenoids and coils. And I'm just going to cover this over so you can actually see just how bright these look. Um, really colourful. Um, but the strange thing about this arrangement is all the LEDs are in parallel. Um, and they're just uh, powered from a couple of uh, AA cells. Now, the interesting thing is that these are surface mount LEDs, and I'll just get a little, uh, a little bit of a little sketch I did earlier on. The way they're manufactured is it appears that the they use surface mount LEDs with the, the pads folded underneath. So these would normally mount on a circuit board, but in this case, they're actually mounted onto the wires. And there's obviously some very heavily automated process that involves the wires being pushed up into a point um, and then buffed to remove the lacquer off the end and then pressed tightly against the bottom of the LED and soldered. Then the whole lot is just dipped in resin at that point and it forms a little bead of resin and it, seal, it seals right round. I mean, if I were to say, for instance, uh, well, if I were to lick the back of these, I don't think I'd get a tingle off them. Excuse me, licking. Uh, nope, it's completely insulated at the back. There's no tingle off that. So um, this suggests these might actually be quite good for outdoor use because um, they're well and truly sealed. However, um, uh, it's not a limitation, but um, you know they are. All the LEDs have to be in parallel, um, because um, I suppose they could make it a series circuit. But for manufacturing simplicity, they're all wired in parallel, and that means that um, the, the red one, which would normally be a lower voltage, is actually a blue LED with red phosphor. So all these LEDs are blue with phosphor, except for the green, which is its own colour. But the green is the same technology as the blue, so they're all sort of voltage matched. So that's pretty good but then the most recent introduction onto the the lighting scene is the 100 led sets and i was kind of intrigued because particularly because it operates at 12 volts and i'll just plug this in and you can see it they're dazzling um so this is quite a long string with 100 leds in it and i was thinking well they're all in parallel or they certainly seem to be all in parallel which means that the of the 12 volts, there's going to be 3 volts across the LEDs, and that means quite a lot would have to be dropped across the resistor, but there's no obvious resistor. I mean, there could be a resistor in here. But for me, the obvious way to do this would be to wire them in, divide them into sections. Um, <coughs> it's 100 LEDs, 25 LEDs per section, maybe, and uh, wire them like this, where you've got the 25 LEDs in parallel, and then another 25, then another 25, another 25, and there is a wire going across the full run um, of this parallel array that um, goes right to the very end, suggesting that something like that is done. So I very carefully felt along the, the set of wires, and I was right, it was every 25 LEDs there's a little joint, um, and it's very clever. It's a little bit of heat shrink sleeving, and what they've done is the, the first 25 comes along and then the wire, the wires get cut and then tag it across so that, that set then is in series with that set. And the surplus wire is just folded back and it's all trapped inside the heat shrink like this. So um, it, it's very simple, but that does leave the question, you know, certainly th uh, four circuits of three volts would make up the 12 volts, but really, I wonder if there's a... I wonder if there's a um, resistor in here. I suppose there's only one way to find out. And that is to carefully cut the heat shrink sleeving and see if there's a resistor here. It might just be balance the voltage because there is a slight voltage knee um, on the gallium nitride LEDs. They're usually round about the three volt region. And the regulated 12 volt supply that would uh, work okay. So I'm just uh, picking this open. I'll just unplug this at the moment just so I don't dazzle the camera with the lights. Um, oh, it's kind of not going to part. 
to his left. Oh, this is quite uh, footery, I have to say. Oh, multiple bits of heat shrink. I don't see any resistors. See if I can get this off. It's actually, I think it might be glued. I think it might be glue lined. Um, or is that just another bits of clear heat shrink in there? I think it is. No, it looks to all intents and purposes as though it is just the just relying on a regulated 12 volt supply, and there being four parallel circuits with three volts across each all wired in a series. Yeah, that's that, uh, just um, straight through. There's no resistors in there. It's just soldered straight on. There's lots of little bits of sleeving. Ah, OK. So yeah, so that's how these work. Uh, these are neat. They're very cheap as well, probably because they're easily mass produced by machine. Um, so yeah, that, that's nice. I'm really taking a shine to these lights.